Have you ever been around a person who had a really bad headache or migraine? In many cases, their patience is really going to be lowered. It is not that you are trying to insult them. It is not that you are trying to hurt them. It is not that you are trying to do them wrong. It is just that they are in pain and they may lash out at you. Their perception is off because they are in pain. Have you ever, let's say that there is a person that recently burned their arm. Let's say that you accidentally brush across their arm, just gently touching their arm. In some cases, that may hurt their arm. It is not that you are trying to hurt their arm. It is just that their arm is just in pain. Kevin, what is your point? Please give me time. <laughs> It makes me think about emotionally hurt people. Whether they got emotionally hurt in their past or whenever. When you interact with people like this, their perception is going to be off. They are really going to be extra sensitive. Why? Because they have been hurt and they are still feeling the emotional pain. It is not so much about what you are saying. It is not so much about what you are doing, it is about they are still choosing to hold on to their pain. So, if it seems like you are going against what they are saying, if it seems like you are disapproving with what they are doing, they are going to lash out on you. Why? Because it is their pain. So their perception is going to be off. Hurt people. Emotionally hurt people. Think about that. Think about when you are dealing with an emotionally hurt person. It is not about what you are doing. It is about the pain that they are feeling still. There is this one person that actually more than one. <laughs> Even when I walk on eggshells, somehow I still offend these people. And I am thinking, how? <laughs> it is not you. 
these people have to learn to let go of their past. They have to learn how to forgive. They have to learn on how to let things go. It is not you. There was this one guy and I spent so much time in trying to teach this one guy about God. So much time, probably more time than I ever spent with someone trying to teach them about God. This person would not let go of his pain. Even when he knew that what he was doing was going against common sense. Even when I showed him scriptures showing that what he is doing and thinking is wrong. Even if he agreed to it, he still went back to his old way of thinking and doing things. That is a forgiveness issue. That is, that is what happens when you hold on to your past. Let it go. Let it go. So I pray that this makes sense. It is not you, it is that person. That person is still in pain. They may say that it is your fault and everything you are doing is wrong. No, it is them. They don't have a problem with you. They have a problem with their self or themselves or their self. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.